Hey guys, Justin Murphy here with my brother Julian. Yo. Um, just want to let everybody know, uh, first of all, thank you so much for the overwhelming support. Yeah, it's been massive. It's been awesome. This is really exciting for Canadian disc golf. We're going to get, it's going to get, we're going to be big here. We got to really build this and uh, we really appreciate everything, all the kind words. And uh, we want to let you know that. Yeah, we're moving over to a new channel, dedicated channel to disc golf. So it's going to be True North Disc Golf. And uh, all of our videos will be uploaded there from now on. So please like and subscribe to that channel. Do you and think that would include Derek Jones's minus 14 rounds? Well, I don't know if we should say that out loud just yet in case these people haven't watched it. But uh, oh, I see. in case they decide to watch it, he may or may not have done that. And who knows how many holes it was. It could have been 30, 40, 10. 10, 40, 10. Just a really, really sound number. Um, let us know uh, any kind of constructive <laughs> criticism in the comments below. Um, we'll take it and run with it. This is our first time too. We're new at this, so we could build this all together basically as a Canadian disc golf team. Uh, and we're open to anything really. We're very easygoing brothers. Mm -hmm. And send most of the constructive criticism Justin's way. I knew that. Uh, I know he needs it, but I mean, I'll take the odd one too, if you have to, but really towards guy. me. I can take it. That's I'm older. I'm older. Uh, anyway, let's keep this train going. We're going to hopefully get some more tournaments in the near future. Uh, and we're going to be posting this on our new page, uh, True North Disc Golf. Um, this is very exciting, guys. Julian? Like and subscribe, folks. Have a great one. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first ever production from True North Disc Golf Media and Productions. And we are here at the 2019 Ontario Provincial Championships at Foxwood Golf and Country Club. What a beautiful new course. Just came in uh, this past April. And I am one of your hosts, Julian Murphy, and I'm here with my brother. I'm Justin Murphy. Yes, we are brothers, as he referred to just now. And, and we're going to do this. All right. So here is our feature card. We have local pro Dave Co. He is uh, responsible for a lot of the course maintenance at our at the other course at this championship um, and he is just all around involved in disc golf. He's been playing for quite a while um, and uh, second on the card is Ben Kurvitz. He's one of three Kurvitz uh, players this tournament, the other two being in the advanced division and uh, he's a predominantly forehand player from what we've heard but we're going to see him do obviously a mix of shots depending on what the course wants. And we got Cam Zanini from St. Catharines. This guy, I believe, is super, super smooth. I'm really excited to watch him throw. Forehand, backhand, putting, all smooth, all good. I believe he plays for Prodigy, uh, based solely on his hat. Uh, and that brings me right into Jason Pasilla, who has sunglasses on his hat, so I can't see who he throws for. But I do know that he throws well because he is last year's winner in the advanced division. Yeah, he won the Nationals, did he, did he not? as well, yeah. Absolutely. Getting right into it, a beast of a starting hole, hole one. Uh, OB laden down the left side, right side, uh, all the way up this, all this fescue you see on this course is always going to be OB for about, I'd say 16, 17 of the holes, uh, leads you up to this treacherous green, which also has OB super, super close behind the basket as the hill funnels down there. All right. And here we've got our first thrower of the tournament, Dave Coe. Yeah. This is a good guy to have start the tournament off. Looks at the camera. He said, you're going to pick this up or what? Watch this. All right. He's going with the backhand line and a quick cut there. Hard to see where his disc ends up, but I think he's going to be... Oh yeah, he played a full flex and he's going to be right in the middle, down the hill, exactly where you want to end up on this hole. And let's get right into Ben Kurvitz. He's going to throw a backhand, but he yeah, puts a little over. bit too much. Looks like he uh, maybe didn't read the headwind as much and he's going to be OB on the right. And that's a tough spot because going down that hill, it's OB all on the right hand side. So Yeah, the headwind always gets you here. Now, Cam Zanini, he, he rips it down to the bottom of the hill. Anytime right. you can get past that big tree, uh, you're going to have a nice look forwards towards the basket without much in the way. Yeah, I try to be there all the time. Jason Pasilla, he gets full flight, and look at this. That is just a beautiful shot, and we're going to see his disc come down right in the center of the fairway. He's going to have a long up shot, probably yeah, about 400 feet. Yeah, you stay in the middle like that, though, you'll no problem at all. And they've marked him back. And here's that forehand. Yeah. Look at how smooth he releases that. No wobble at all on that disc. And he's going to come pretty darn close to that 150-yard marker to the golf green, which has nothing to do with our disc golf basket. <laughs> Correct. Uh, I'm excited to see Cam play, like I said. And uh, this is kind of where you want to be. you got to throw something that's going to check up on that hill because, like I say, if you crest that hill with too much speed, 
uh, pretty much where that golf cart is up there, then you are going to skip OB. And he rips a backhand here, and that's going to have that's a perfect yeah, line. It looks ideal. He's going to skip up close to the basket, or at least be uh, circle's edge, maybe just a little bit outside. But he'll have a putt for birdie. Haven't seen him putt before, but I'm assuming he's going to give that a healthy bid for sure. Here's Dave Coe's second shot. And he pulls it, and that's a little bit straighter maybe than he wanted, but that's going to fade in nicely. And, oh, a little bit shorter than I thought. So he's going to have a bit of a look, but he's got those two guardian trees in the way. Mm -hmm. Maybe he'll get a wind read there from Cam, because Cam will putt before him. Jason with the long drive. Ooh, that's and turned he, over. Yeah. Oh, no, he's going to want that one back. So he's going to have a long look towards the basket, probably 150 feet away, pin high, but he's going to be facing the OB. Yeah, and he's not penalized for that shot. It's still considered in the golf fairway for this hole, uh, but that's a long way away from the basket. As Ben Kervitz, he throws it, and it needs a check up, needs a check up, and just rolls out of bounds. That's that, what we talked about. Uh, that putting that putting surface gets really tough. It just kind of, you know, discs want to find their way down there. Yeah, absolutely. And here's Jason Pasilla, and he, yeah. oh, he hits the root of the tree, and he skips OB long as well. Uh, so both of those guys are going to be putting for a uh, bogey and a double bogey, I believe. Dave Coe is running the birdie putt from about 50 feet back. Gets it through the guardian trees and did that check up on time? I looks like it might have. Uh, no OB graphic. That's a good bid from there. I'm laying that up all day long. Yeah, that was a tough run, but he definitely managed to make it uh, and stay in bounds here. So Cam Zanini going for birdie. Takes his time. It's always good when they take their time like that. Get your focus. Pick a chain. Oh, and he hits the top of and and... Just goes to the right, and it looks like it stopped just yeah. before OB as well. So he's going to be he's going to be sad that he missed it, but happy that it didn't go OB, and he's still away. Yeah, <laughs> I hate when that happens. He putt twice in a row. Makes but, it for par. Yeah, I like that when that happens, though. I'm fine with that. If I'm going to make my par putting twice in a row, then I'm good with that. It's a good start for Cam. Now Dave Coe's par putt. Let's see what he does. Oh, that's oh, short. Oh, no, he left it a little bit short. He's yeah. uh, he's feeling the pressure of the tournament and likely from the cameras being on him as yeah. well. That's a that's a big thing, I assume. I've never been filmed, but I'd be, I'd be nervous, even more nervous than playing in the Provincials. Great putt from Jason there. Save his bogey. Now, there's a shout-out to Jamie Pay this round. He was the only person to birdie this hole. Um, and th this is the second hardest hole as well, the way it was playing this round. So mm. uh, I can see that. Yeah, it averaged uh, 4.75, so three-quarters of a stroke over par. There are definitely some beasts on this course of holes. Uh, this would be one of them for sure. Um, you know, not helping the fact would be that it is the first hole of the tournament. You know, people are up there watching. There seems to always be a gnarly headwind here as well. All right, and this is Cam Zanini, 24 years old from Niagara Falls, Ontario. This is his second year playing MPO. Uh, so he's currently rated 971 uh, coming into this tournament. Um, and uh, he's got a lot of potential. I mean, he has been you absolutely see it there. Lighting, up, yeah. lighting up the pro cards. And all the tournaments he's playing in. Yeah. So, we're, you know, tough double there for Ben. Um, tough putting on the green there for Dave and Jason with the OB stroke. But they're going to find their way home, I think. I think that's just, you know, getting the jitters out from that first, you know, the first throws of a very, very important tournament for it Ontarians. Is, it is a tough starting hole. Yeah. Uh, hole two here is a little bit easier. Um, not super easy. OB all the way down the right here and long of the basket. Also, the golf green, uh, as every golf green would, plays OB, uh, OB as well. It's going to say hazard, but it's definitely OB. And then you've got this perched basket with that headwind I was just speaking about, making every putt one that you think about for sure. Yeah. You're going to see players either go forehand here, which is a nice forehand line, or backhand. And hopefully we see both, Julian. All right, Ken Zanini, he's got to be lining up a forehand. He's so smooth. Let's yeah, see what I noticed he does. That on that player profile, I was very pleased with Like, that is just yeah. Look at that. silk. That is exactly what you want to do on this one. Skips it, gets it on the hill a little bit, so he's not going to have too much of an elevation change for his putt. No, 25 feet maybe. And Dave Cole playing the backhand line. I was hoping we'd see this. He's got to get through that ceiling there. And yeah, oh, clips, clips a tree it. and comes down. Thankfully, he didn't quite make it to the green, so he doesn't have to um, get an OB stroke on his uh, tally here. Yeah, more most likely a layup for par from there. Jason Pasilla throwing a forehand. That's got to skip hard. Oh, it did. And it does. <laughs> and look at that. And that's going to stop it. just yeah. on the backside of that hill. He's going to have a 15-footer. Um he should be making that one yeah, all day long. he should long. erase that bogey uh, from hole one with that, I would hope. Ben Kervitz also with that smooth forehand. He's got to skip it off the green here, and he does. He's got a bit longer of a putt. Yeah, I tend to always go there too, and I never make that putt. So hopefully Ben can um, commit to that uh, the putt. All right, Dave Coe with his up shot. I think he's running this. I, I wouldn't be surprised with him. Yeah, me neither. That's what I was asking. That's got to sit though. Uh oh, oh no. 
a little <sighs> bit higher than he wanted. So yeah, he's got a long putt, and he might still be. No, he's not the furthest, but uh, let's see what Ben does. Oh, great putt. Ben Kervitz makes the birdie putt. Fantastic Jeez. putt. Yeah, that was very nice. Oh, we got a nice yeah. true north replay here. I love that. No wobble. All focus. Dead right. center chains. Birdie. Count it. Easy bird for Ben. What a putt. Yeah. Cam's uh, fanning his fingers, as some do. He's got to dry off that hand. Avoid some grip lock here. Yeah, it did rain, <laughs> Julian. Uh, I believe. I'm not sure if at this point ahead, but... Oh. And he's going to make that putt all day long. He's, uh, he's We're a seeing why putter. he's a 971 MPO player right now. Very nice putt. And Dave here. So he's lining up his par save. And no, he... No. Oh, it airs it off so to the left. Right. Yeah, he's... It's, oh, there it is. I thought that, was that a Thomas Gilbert putter I just saw? I think it was a Thomas Gilbert uh, yeah. DX AVR, yeah, I, I believe. believe so, too. With the Canada Disc Golf stamp on it. And he makes the bogey. Um, That's a good comeback, or at least. Jason Pasilla, closest to the basket. Makes the easy birdie. Yeah. And hopefully we see that, uh, sorry, Julina, hopefully we see that uh, that Thomas Gilbert putter go in for Dave. Now here's Jason Pasilla. He is from Milton, Ontario, and he lit up the advanced yes. division last year. He was winning tournaments all over the place. Uh, he's currently rated 950, but he's just, uh, he's one of those players that just plays so consistently and putts so well. That's uh, what you need on a course, Julian, like this with all the out of bounds. Uh, you got to be consistent. Uh, three birds there and the unfortunate bogey for Captain Co uh, on that one. Which brings us into hole three, which is a doozy. Julian, how'd that play? I'm curious this week, this weekend. Hole three played... This round, I should say. Hole three played this round 0.19 over par. So uh, it's kind of right in the middle of uh, rankings from easiest to hardest. Uh, it's the 12th easiest. Um, Just give a shout out quickly to our sponsor here, Innova. Uh, Daryl Bankes throwing a ton of work into this as, as he does. He's Innova Canada. And the Shark with a cool new stamp. Um, this is hole three. 380 feet downhill, uh, usually into a headwind, most likely an overstable forehand because all that long grass and that green over there and that creek are all out of bounds. You got to have quite a good shot here. The safe play is kind of bail out on the left, maybe 60 feet away. Uh, most likely a forehand is going to get you there, a good one, and uh, a, a, maybe a, a very confident backhand too. Yeah, and here's Cam lining up that forehand that Justin was just talking about. And he has the power to get there Jeez, he doesn't even try Look it. Look at that. Like. Yeah, that's beautiful flight. That's going to get go. there. Just perfectly flat. And that's got a skip, and it does. Get in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is parked. Yeah. You can't get any better than that. That's three feet away from the basket. You can. Uh, statistically, it could be a one. But <laughs> if you're going to get a birdie, that is how you do it, Julian. All right, let's see what Jason does here. And he throws that same forehand line. Now, his is, is a looking good. little less stable, but it's still fading nicely. And, oh, yeah, he's going to yeah. have a putt for birdie as well. That's what I was saying. Just kind of get yourself near, over there, hang it out left, and be safe, and maybe you make a, a putt. Yeah, and third forehand in a row, Ben Kervitz, and he's going a little bit further to the left. Also safe, right? If you don't want to get a bogey, that's how you do for it. For sure. That's an easy par play if you do end up on that uh, in that fairway right there. You need to play this course like so that So he's going to be about 50, 60 feet away from the basket. And we've got, we have a backhand here as well, which is such a tough so line. Tight. And he flips that up. Look at this. Oh my, this is looking perfect, Julian. Look at that. And it's it. going to fade just in time. Oh my goodness, look at that. He's going to be 15 feet away from the basket. That was a fantastic backhand shot. And and, and it's hard to uh, do that any justice on camera, but that is just such a hard shot to make. I was just about to say, that's honestly, I've played this course maybe 20 times as uh, Ben lays it up. That's the best backhand I've seen on this hole yet, for sure. 100%, whether live or on uh, video now. All right, let's see what Jason's putt, what happens with his putt here. Oh, just misses it to the right. That's that, a tough run. That's a long putt. Uh, in this wind and with the rain, it's it's tough to make those long putts. And Dave Coe, what a result. Yeah, this is going to be a hopeful birdie for Dave here. Oh, no, and he's still feeling the pressure on his putts. That's not Dave. That's Julian, you can attest that that's not the Dave we know. He is a laser beam, dead straight putter, and it's just the nerves for sure. Yeah, Jason Pasilla, he's cleaning up his par. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Dave is, uh, he, you can tell he's feeling the uh, nervous a little bit about the camera and being uh, the feature card of yeah. MPO. He also, I don't believe, gets a chance, uh, being a nice father of three, I don't think he gets a chance to play as much as he'd like to, especially tournaments. So now, Here's Cam Zanini dropping in his birdie. So, yeah. interesting stat. That was the only birdie this round and uh, caught from on film, anybody. Yep. Caught on film, right on our card here, and it was a drop-in. It wasn't even a long putt. That's just a fantastic, a fantastic shot. There's our buddy Dave, 38 years old from Cambridge, father of three, like I said. I, second year as pro. Um, he's nine, did it say 930 rated? Yeah, I, I missed think it was that. 930 yeah. rated, yeah. Yeah, so Dave's a very solid player, and uh, 
he's gonna pick it up, I think. Yeah, we had one birdie there, three pars, going into hole four. I always say to myself playing this course, if I come out of those three holes even, I'm happy, and Cam's gotta be thinking right now, all right, I'm in attack mode. That two down on those three holes is great. Which leads us into hole four, which I struggle with mightily, but <laughs> hopefully these guys don't. That green is out of bounds like we spoke about. Uh, and actually, this basket is perched 10 feet from fescue, and that pond, all of that's out of bounds. So it's a super tight landing zone. You want to throw an overstable putter or mid maybe and just kind of keep it low and skip towards the basket, but not too far because yeah. that fescue is right there, as you can see. And interesting you mentioned you struggle with this one because I do as well, but this is actually the easiest hole for the pros in this round. What is it? Uh, tied for the easiest hole um, at uh, not quite a full stroke. It was 2.31 on the still, day. That's still very under par, and I think this shot might help that again. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he don't hit your head on the way up healing Cam. it right now he is feeling it and you can see though julian he's four feet there but he still was about a foot from out of bounds it looks like like that's how close it is all right jason Pessoa. that's got a check now Sit. that's need to stop that need, oh no and it just skips into the uh long stuff there yeah. hopefully it didn't get in the water but he's gonna have to take an ob stroke it's unfortunate this is the safe play i think kind of throw something hard and get out to you know wide and Either lay up for your par or have a kind of a floaty run at the basket, Julian. Yeah, he's going to have a long look, likely some trees in the way. Yeah, and that's uh, true. I forgot about the elevation over there. Those trees kind of hang low for a lofty putt like that. And Dave. Dave. And that's the shot that okay. he needed after those three starting holes. Yeah. Uh, he needs to be uh, nice and close on this one. So Over, he's... under, he makes it or misses it. I think, uh, actually, I think that was the wrong. I'm not a gambler. I'm not sure if that was the right stat <laughs> over, under, but I think he makes that is basically I, what I'm saying. I feel like he's going to make it. I think he makes it. Ben Kervitz Dave, laying up here. He makes that, I, I say, all day long. All right, let's see if Jason can make his par putt. And you can see the wind in the trees in the background. And, oh, yeah. just hits the front of the cage and falls down. You could see his body language there. It just wasn't quite comfortable. Um, another tap in for Ben. There's that OB right behind him. Look, his back leg he was actually... He actually was so close, he got to mark that meter. Ben Kervitz cleaning up his par. And... Uh, See Jason with the drop in bogey and Cinderella's gonna get now here we go moment of truth let's see if Co makes this one and he does a nice drop in for his way two. to go Dave from Justin and Julian to you great two let's get that going now into the rest of the round uh, I think that's probably pretty standard scoring Julian on that hole get a couple parts get a couple birds that kind of thing will yeah, absolutely now here is Ben Kervitz he's 30 years old from Sudbury Ontario this is his third year playing MPO did you get it, happen to see his rating it there? was 913 which is sort of low for MPO but you know what that means nothing Ben can throw and Ben can play and you can see it here so uh, let's see him work on that rating for the rest of this round hey everybody as huge fans of disc golf it's been our pleasure to travel to local events and bring you the very best footage that we can our hope is to showcase the local talent here in Canada and all of its beautiful courses. Also, come check out our other project with me, Bathing with Lisa, at the link above. We, we hope, hope you enjoy. enjoy. All right, thank you very much to True North Vapor for financing our shoot. Yep. Uh, and that was a shout out from Jeff and Lisa. Thank you very much, guys. Um, and you can see them the odd time in the background with the camera, doing a lot of the camera work and uh, just for making this whole thing possible, we thank you. Yeah. Is this the hardest hole in the course? I feel like it has to be. This is absolutely the hardest hole okay. on the course. This is measuring at 4.88, so it's a par 4, so 0.88 over par. Um, and uh, it's just a tough one all around. There's OB on the left-hand side over the cart path. Yep. There's an OB creek running through the middle of it, closer to the basket. And there is a drop zone if uh, you do go OB on the tee shot here. Which this won't, because this is ideal. As Cam rips a forehand to the prime spot, right to that hill is what you want. As Julian had mentioned, that cart, right side of that cart path, and everything left is OB. So backhand's going to be tough to get there. That needs to get low. And that's no, not turning at all. That's, that's going to be fading out of bounds. That's a tough one. So he'll be advancing to the drop zone. Yeah, it's tough after, you know, getting that birdie to kind of get his... <laughs> we feel you, Dave. After getting his uh, his bird <laughs> on, the, on the last hole, it's tough to kind of throw that shot there. All right, Ben with the forehand, and that's definitely the play. If you can get it to fade nicely inbounds. Well, that's nice. That is ideal right there, and he's going to be right next to Cam. Probably further, Cam, too. At least two feet. All right, Jason Pasilla, he's lining up a forehand as well. Let's see what he does. He says, I can do that too, boys. Let's see. Let's go here. Oh, his disc's a little less stable than that. Yeah, that was a little flippy there. I'm not sure what that is. I know he throws strikes uh, a lot. Um, maybe overturned it a bit. Yeah, and he's not very happy with that throw. So both he and Dave will be advancing to the drop zone. Yeah, Dave's going to pick this hyzer gap here, which is super tough. Oh, that was grip locked, I think. 
Well, let's see. It. Oh, yeah, he hits that spruce tree on the right, and that falls down, and he is not feeling happy about these throws. Probably a good tree, though. Uh, Could have gone to that, uh, that yeah, fescue over there, if that's have, what it's called. Yeah, it may the have schnarb. saved another... Uh, the schnarb, I believe it was called. <laughs> it may have saved another OB stroke. And Jason Basilla, that is yeah. a great, great recovery shot. So he's going to have a straight look at the basket. Very few trees in his way from that side. And what's Cam doing here, Julian? Cam, Cam is throwing <laughs> 700 feet into the air. Maybe 200. Hard to say. Everything looks and look longer that, on camera. That, that's a tombstone. Look Jeez. at that right there. Beautiful shot over oh. everything. Um, and How that's, many worms do you think he just killed? I think at least three, but they'll okay. be okay because it was just one worm and now it's in three pieces. <laughs> right, and they can still live from that. That's how you... <laughs> Remember from science class, Ben Kurvitz hits a late tree, so he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be open for his upshot, but he'll be playing for par just like most people do on this hole. Well, I like this camera angle. This is exactly this nice straight shot. Have it fade. And this we, is looking he wants, good. He's gonna want to fade around that last uh, tree there, oh, and that's pumped. that's long. That's about forty feet long. So he'll have, he'll have a comebacker. I remember Dave mentioning he just had worked out before this round, so obviously he's jacked. That was a joke. Ben is, uh, Ben's curling this in nicely, and he that was an absolutely perfect <laughs> yeah. upshot. Um, that's what you want to do. You want to have it uh, fade in nicely towards the basket and just sit. And a par is very good on this Jason's, hole. You're not losing strokes. Jason's putting here. And, oh, a little bit to the left, but he's going to be happy with that result. Maybe a seven or eight foot putt. Cam with the only birdie look, but it's going to be a long one. Yeah, he seems like he's a great putter. I mean, I'm excited, like I said, to watch this guy play more. Let's see what he does here. A little bit too much hyzer, but... Oh, Ooh. man, that's a knee knocker. We checks call those knee knockers in the game. That is, And that checks up nicely before the OB path there. And here is Dave Coe's long comebacker. And he misses with that Canada disc golf uh, AVR. Uh, 5VR. 5VR. It's a new disc from Innova. It's uh, coming out next year. It's Dave a five-speed AVR. <laughs> and the hands. Ken Zanini for par. Love the focus, like I said before. It's and you know what it does. Oh, you know, he takes his time, and that one he that focused too good, much. That wasn't a good result for him. But usually, with that focus, he uh, he's getting in the zone, and his putts are money today. There we go, Dave. That's. I mean, I know it's for double. Oh, he's getting a replay here. Dead center chains. Yep, that's gonna go in all day. Yeah, and good you know that up. that would probably feel good, Julian. I know he hasn't. He's missed a couple of that distance, so good for Dave. Yeah, he's happy to get it back. And Ben finishing with his par, and yeah, that's a great score exactly. on this. Exactly. If you have that as a par putt, then you've done something well. Yeah, there wasn't a single birdie this round Are you uh, serious? on this hole. Not a single one from our entire MPO card. Jeez. So this hole is playing horribly tough. But as you can see hole. right there with that unfortunate double again for Dave, looking to correct on that. A great par from Ben, Cam, and Jason with bogeys, but uh, that happens on that hole, as you mentioned with the stats. So. Yeah, and Cam, he's still putting together a good round here. He's still two down through five, so he's uh, he's just going to want to get yeah. back on the horse after Especially, that Especially, Julian, I think the back nine is much easier on this course, in my opinion, leading us into hole five, which is actually hole six in English. Uh, <laughs> I like throwing a forehand here uh, that's going to smash into that hill right behind the basket because this sand trap and the other one that you see is hazard. So you would throw from there, I believe, yeah. Actually, I can't remember. I'll yeah, check on for that. For a par, you will. Okay, for yeah. par, yeah. And then the golf green, obviously, out of bounds. And this schnarb behind the basket is also OB. So a forehand gets you there, smash into that hill, as Ben will throw, and also a backhand putter can get you there. Yeah, the forehand is certainly a safer play. A lot of guys will skip it off the green. Yeah. Um, and Ben just parks it. That's actually an yeah. easier way of doing it than skipping the off hole, the green. Though, that hill ca like just collects the disc for him and gives him a nice drop. Yeah, if you don't have to skip it off the green and you can just hit the hill and yeah. basically park it, that's a far better shot. But uh, That's ideal. See, this is my play. Cam Zanini with the backhand. You just want to laser a backhand straight at it. And that uh, that's going to sit down nicely as well. He'll be just in that little gully beyond the basket. Mm, that's a good, great shot from Cam. And let's see what Jason does. He's going to line up a big hyzer. That's flipping up. This is going to get the sand. Hopefully not. Oh, sit down. Not right oh, there. Oh, hazard. There we go. Look at that graphic. True North disc so he golf hit the hazard. So here. he'll be putting from there for his par with a one-stroke penalty. So And probably Dave, too, by the looks of it. Yeah, that faded oh, right wanted to, in there. So wanted that, to get out, too. Looks like Dave might be a little bit further away. Let's see. Yeah. But he's putting for par now. Oh, yeah. Great save. Fantastic save for par. And he's uh, he's had some uh, trouble putting. So far this round, but um, that was a good one to get back. And Jason as well. And then we should have two drop in birdies from the other guys. Look at that rain falling down, Julian. You couldn't really see in the other no. camera, but you can really see it here. Yeah, so unless it just started between replays. 
<laughs> These guys are just struggling, uh, struggling with the weather. Um, oh, Cam's ticked about that birdie for some reason. Or just wiping his disc off with air. Yeah, I think that's a good way. He's probably getting some excess grass off. Um, being on a golf course, they do mow the lawn every so often. I would say actually often, so often. And a great bird from Ben. Just park. So that was a fantastic hole from this card. Uh, yeah, two, two pars. pars. Hazard pars too. It's great. Circle pars, we call those. Uh, so after, what have we got? Six holes here. We got Cam at three down now, which is great. Two over, three over for Dave and Jason. And then even for Ben, which is excellent as well. I, I, I'm happy for sure coming out of that stretch. Uh, even, Julian. Yeah, absolutely. We're coming into hole seven now. Uh, but first, we'd like to do a quick shout out to Foxwood Golf and Country Club for hosting um, hosting this tournament. Um, they brought the course in. They were taking a gamble to put a disc golf course with the golf course. And that gamble has certainly paid off. They've had lots of love from the disc golf community. They started a league and uh, they had the world champion visit uh, a few months back. So here Mr. we are. Be himself. Here we are on hole seven. So this one here, uh, I'm not going to get into it, but... Uh... <laughs> There can be arguments about this triple mando that we just flow through. You got to throw under the sign through those back trees uh, with this low, low ceiling funneling down to this basket. Not a lot of OB to speak of, except for having to hit that mando on your first shot. Uh, but after that, you got a tough, the second shot. Yeah, I heard I heard you didn't actually make that mando in the final round, did you? I think that? I did, but uh, that's fine. <laughs> uh, it played out the way it should have. All right, Ben Kervitz, and he's throwing a nice low, and that's what you want to do. You want to be under that <laughs> sign between the trees, and you... You can't play that hole any better. That's a great landing zone. Yeah. Uh, and that should set shot. up for his forehand out wide too. Because uh, you want to take a forehand wide usually on your second shot here. All right. Let's see what Ken's doing. You can really see the rain coming down now. These guys are just fighting to keep their discs and hands dry. He's lining up a backhand as well. And that needs to get a little bit lower. Okay. So think, he'll, he'll be safe. He'll be safe. Yeah. He hit the sign and drop. So he's going to be throwing his number two uh, from between the mando there. Jason lining up a backhand as well. That's going to miss and it. And that's going to turn right. Yeah. Maybe it'll stop ahead. Ooh, uh, oh, no, maybe. he's OB. He definitely went past the Mando there. So he's going to be throwing from the drop zone, which is between those two trees for his third shot. And Dave Coe lining up a backhand. And that needs to get low. That needs to get a lot lower. And he went over the sign. So Oh, he did. Ugh, yes. Couldn't tell from on camera. So that's going to be out of bounds as well. He'll be playing from the drop zone. Now here's Kem Zanini. This is that forehand Julian I was speaking about. Out wide and just get it down to the basket and hopefully you got to look for, for three because this is another hard hole as I believe. Have you mentioned your stats on this one? Uh, this no, has got to be one not. of the this toughest is, holes. Uh, let's have a look here. This is the third hardest hole. Uh, so number one is the second hardest hole. Five being the hardest and this one is the third hardest hole. Let's see what these guys can do from the drop zone. This is looking excellent. That is a fantastic shot. That yeah. is so hard to throw a backhand through all those trees and to keep it that low. Yeah, because you're up high throwing down into a low ceiling tree. Like, look at that. You have two feet of... Like, it's... This looks good, too. Dave Coe does the same thing. Look at that. What a shot. Two great shots. And he is going a lot more to the left. And it looks like we've got a golf cart a little bit in the way. Uh, so... That's a true north, for sure. True north disc golf. Uh, dropping the ball on that one. Putting the golf cart in our shot. But that's fine because they've done a lot of great work here and we're bringing this video to you. So <laughs> we'll let that one slide, boys and girl. And that's Ben's forehand up shot. He hits a tree and drops down. So he's going to have about a 120 foot look for a birdie. Yeah, it's a smart layup. Like that, that disc can just get away from you and slide down. I believe that might be for his bogey. I think that's his bogey now. Yeah. So here's Dave Coe. And that was for his par actually because he had that long third shot from the drop zone yes and so he's going to be uh, have a drop in bogey yeah, he here. had the he had the drop zone the uh, stroke there. cam's needing with his third stroke nice step putt form that's a little low but he's going to get there for his par yeah he's going to have a, a easy par all right jason pasilla he's got a long putt here that ceiling really creeps up if you like to put any kind of loft whatsoever on your butt. Oh, <laughs> no. Hits the chains, and he, he was walking it. that one off. Yeah, he wanted that one. Oh, no. That was a that was a good run, Jason. And oh. Ben leaves a little bit low. Oh, no. And he says, I should throw that higher into the chains, and we've all done that before. It's That's tough, but you know what? Guess what, Julian? Yeah, he there takes are a the lot more holes on this course to play. Yeah, lots of time. This is still just the front nine of the first round. Lots of recovery time left. Yeah, four and rounds. It's a great tournament. Four rounds, two days, two courses, two wonderful courses. And uh, yeah, Cam picks up his par there. Like I said earlier, that's a great oh. score. You know, steps on Dave Coe's disc. And Mary Poppins with the putt. Oh, just Jason Pasilla, never mind. Pasilla? Pasilla? 
Pacella. Jason, after this video, message me, Justin Murphy, and give me the pronunciation of your name. And Julian also says give him Pacella. Hell. And also who? Also give him hell. Give Justin some That's, hell. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I have actually had the pleasure of playing with Jason at Throwdown 2017. He's a great guy. Uh, I made a huge goof on the scorecard, and he helped me fix it. So it was my first tournament. Great guy. Um, kind of a, what's going to happen on that whole three bogeys and a, and a par. You're bogeying that you're not super upset with it, I would think. I'm not, at least. Yeah, there was two birdies on the round. Uh, James Duong and Clayton Morgan, the only two birdies on that. Uh, James yeah. Duong probably threw a monster forehand in a second, I bet. Yeah, he's got a great forehand, doesn't yeah. he? Speaking of great forehands, this hole is, in my opinion, a, a nice great forehand. Uh, either maybe like a zone or an overstable mid or putter uh, up this left side and try and throw something that's not going to skip because that path uh, comes into play you can just kind of see in the sunlight there and it's 18 feet from the basket and those discs want to skip uh, there's also a sneaky backhand line that is safer because you don't really flirt with that ob and you uh you would throw like a fairway or something and have it skip towards the basket as it's a, a low ceiling let's see what can is he's lining up a, a backhand? backhand well i Really would have thought he would have thrown forehand. Yeah, for right. sure. With his forehand skill, you'd think. Uh, but you know what? That is oh going to be a great shot. And he's going to prove us both wrong. He's going to be a little bit long, but he's only got a maybe a 25-foot comebacker there. It's a great shot. I don't... Yeah, I would, that surprises me. Now, this hole is playing tied for easiest. That's the shot uh, right there. Just like that. And then have it wide and have it skip. See, he never even brought the path into play there. Yeah, so this hole's playing tied for easiest, uh, being... With uh, two, right, you said? Yeah, 2.31 is the average score on this, so well under par. Yeah, these guys are helping that that uh, right now, for sure. Look at these throws. I think we got three birds here, at least. Let's see if Dave can make it a... A star frame. A star frame, for sure. Oh, and he's going the hyzer route. This is the other play I was telling you about. With that, that looks like a T-bird or something, maybe? And absolutely parked it. And yeah. look at those guys in the background. It looks like they're playing some form of golf with sticks and balls. I don't understand that, well, really. I've, I've never heard of that. It's very strange. But uh, who knows? We're playing disc golf here. Let's see what we got, guys. Come on, Cam. He, <laughs> see, he starts us off at the star frame. Nice putt. There we go. And that was the longest putt. Uh, Hold on here, Julian. Sorry to interrupt. Look at his leg. You ready? <laughs> oh, he was yeah. nervous about it, but... No, he went left like if he didn't do that, it wasn't going in. So nice move, Cam. Dave Coe with his birdie, and we're gonna have a star frame here, I think, uh, pending any jinxes. There's no jinx, hopefully. Oh, and Jason said I can do that with my leg too. See? Yeah, puts that's it in. Do it. So I'm not, I'm putting wrong. That's fine. These guys are proving. I've me. actually been putting wrong this whole time, and that's why I'm not in MPO. I'm uh, agreed in M2 for a reason. Okay, that's a great star frame. Uh, now, if we're in Europe, Julian. Do you think they would all shake those chains? Yeah, they'd all be coming up to the basket and shaking the chains, especially if they were at uh, any of the big tournaments there. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Four birdies. Nothing really to speak about there except for wonderful disc golf throws. Uh, Cam at four down going into hole nine here, which I think plays into his game with a forehand as well. Uh, other guys, great shots. You know what, Julian? We saw pretty much four different shots there to get to that basket. Yeah, and all really, really good shots. So hole nine here, this is a major downhill. You can't really tell in the video, which sounds cliche because everyone says that, but it's very true. Uh, this is about 305 feet or exactly that, and it's a par three, and everything on the right here, all that schnarb, plays uh, OB. Uh, you got to take the disc from where it went in and pick a putt. Also, that pond will come into play if you juice one. Now, if you do happen to juice it, it is a close par putt, though, for... Uh... Yeah, depending, I guess, if you don't hang it out too wide. Yeah, Look how smooth he there's is, There's that Julian. forehand that you were just so talking about with Cam. Gross! In a good way. Then, like, sit. That's got to sit down before the OB, and it does. So he's yeah. going to have a short putt in for birdie, hopefully. And here we are, Ben Kurvitz. He's throwing a forehand as well. As well, nice, smooth shot. Yeah, that's got to get down, sit. Yeah, that's... Oh, oh. no, he's going to be uh, OB. Hopefully, it crossed inbounds a little bit further back. Jason letting a forehand up. Oh, that flipped up real. Oh, oh he doesn't like it. No, oh, it's coming back, though, a little bit. Let's see where this one ends up. Okay, so from there, that's fine. He's going to... Uh, you know what, Julian? That's a, that's a, like a circle's edge. Yeah, he might but, have a birdie yeah, look. That's true. He shouldn't be as mad as he looked there. And Dave Cole's going with the backhand, and that's oh, a that way dropped. more dangerous route. Yeah, um, the wind kind of dropped that halfway through the flight. You can see it right there. So he's going to be playing his second shot. Yeah, where's that going to be from? His third shot from oh, right here. He's up the hill still. Still yeah. raining. Look at all those umbrellas up there. And let's see if he clears it in this time. And he does. That's leaving him a... Not even a knee knocker now. That's still a that's a difficult putt. Knee knockers you should make. This one is that's gonna be tough for Dave Julian. Yeah, that's gonna be a long putt for his uh bogey. So let's see if three shots in a row for Dave is always frustrating. Okay. 
Oh no. So he's gonna he's gonna end up with a double bogey. He's not gonna be very happy with this one. It's too bad he's followed up two birdies now with double bogeys. Uh, that's that's tough to do, but and frustrating. And Jason gives that a good. Jason. Oh, oh he hits the top of the cage, and did that sit down in time? It looks looks like, like it. it did. That's good. Ben Kervitz with a long putt, and that stays up. Get out of the water, and it just sits up right good. before the OB. Yeah, like you can tell right from that. From that, yeah, you almost want to be left side so you don't bring that water into play on the putt as Jason goes for his par here. Oh no, and oh. he lifts it right over the basket. It's uh, you can it's getting windy. You can yeah, see you can the see wind blowing the, the water and, and the, the flag. flag. Yeah, he just got a little nose up, and the wind did the rest. That's that's tough, and this is going to be for a bogey now, unfortunately. Oh no! Yeah, he rips right. his mini up in anger, and I, I, we've all been there. That is a, it's just frustrating. Yeah, can't blame him at all for uh, feeling that. Absolutely, as Cam is going to make another birdie. I'm, th jeez, five down, Julian. He's yeah, just, he's he's on fire. He is on fire. And here we go with Ben. He's he's going to be into that. Uh, he's going to take his time after seeing some of the the putting mishaps we've seen on this hole. He needs this putt here. Great job. Yeah, good bogey save. And we have two more shots. A little bit, of, uh, clean a little bit of clean up, yeah. Clean up for Jason and Dave here. That's a tough hole for these guys, but like I say, there's lots of disc golf left. Uh, work out the kinks early and uh, and come out firing for uh, you know the next three rounds. Jason with the double bogey. Yeah, he's not going to be happy about that one. Certainly feeling the frustrations um, with that wind and with those putts, but uh, it can happen in disc golf, and it the disc golf course gives and it takes away as well. Yes, it sure does. Cam with the lone bird. Uh, I think that's probably a, kind of a rare score for that hole. I mean, it seems to be, I would assume it plays under par, Julian. Uh, that one actually plays a quarter of a stroke over par. I, so I it don't was know playing, the sport at all. It I, was playing tough I'll just today. Leave. It's fine, I'll leave. <laughs> all right, and that is our score after nine holes. We've got Dave Coe, uh, five over. Jason Pasilla, four over. Ben Kervitz is one over par. And Cam Zanini, the hot round of the front nine, uh, on our card anyway, with five down. Uh, and a big shout out to Paris Disc Golf Club. Um, they are uh, helping us big time uh, and teaching the sport to um, the True North Disc Golf. And they're certainly um, giving a lot of encouragement and disc golf knowledge and uh, really kind of made this video happen. So Absolutely. Thank and you. Julian, the, the work that that course has had put into it recently from uh, from Craig Snow and Jen and, and everybody else's, <laughs> the course is playing awesome. We just played it actually on our way to commentate this. So Absolutely.